My name's Eddie. I'm a fitness instructor here in Los Angeles, California. Um, and I've been a big supporter of my refuge house for a long time. So when they asked me to be a part of this campaign, uh, I was honored and I'm excited to, to get in here and do some work with you guys. So let's start moving. Um, today's workout, we're gonna start with a quick little warm up. We're gonna fire up our core and then we're gonna do a full body cardio core set. You don't need any equipment. Maybe just have some water nearby. Don't forget to hydrate. Um, and let's have some fun with it. So if you have a yoga mat, go ahead and just take a seat at the foot of the mat. A nice, comfortable cross-legged position. And let's start by sitting up straight, rolling your shoulders back and down like you're trying to tuck your shoulder blades in your back pockets. Neck nice and long. Lift your head up out of your shoulders. And let's just start by doing some neck rolls. Just limbering up, loosening up our neck, getting all that stiffness out. Few more rotations on this side. And let's go back the other way. Just feel those cobwebs, all that gunk in your neck, loosening up. All right, so now we're still on the floor, we're still cross legged, our shoulders are still back and down. Let's go ahead and Using your left arm behind you as a tripod, inhale your right arm up. And with your exhale, reach overhead, stretch out that side, deep exhale. <sighs> inhale back up to center. With your left hand, reach across, grab your right knee, and torso twist to the right. Exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale with that side reach. Don't worry, we'll do the other side next. Inhale back to center, reach across, grab the opposite knee. Exhale, with that torso twist. Inhale back to middle. Exhale, one more side bend. Really reach for that wall. Inhale back up, one more torso twist to the other side. Grab that knee and twist even further. Deep exhale. Back to middle, hit the other side. Inhale up, exhale side bend. Inhale, middle, reach across, grab the opposite knee, torso twist to the, to the left. Inhale, middle, side bend. Inhale, middle, reach across and torso twist. Once more on the side, inhale to the middle. Exhale, deep reach, get it on that side, deep exhale. Inhale back to the middle, grab that opposite knee. Torso twist one last time to the left. Come back to middle. And go ahead and put your hands on the ground and walk yourself out to a tabletop position. So your knees are on the ground, your hands are on the floor, your arms are stacked. By stacked, I mean your wrists should be right under your elbows, your elbows right under your shoulders. And outwardly rotate your forearms so that your elbow pits are facing forward. Now we're gonna do some cat cows to release that lower back. So we're gonna Inhale, drop our belly. Vision is upright, pushing our hips back and up. Deep inhale into the belly. And with your exhale, we're gonna roll into cat. So you're gonna start by tucking your tailbone and rolling slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, up to the top of cat. At the top of cat, you'll see that my shoulders are rounded up top. They're not collapsing like they did in cow. You're up here in cat. And inhale back to cow. Drop that belly, deep belly breath. And exhale, tuck that tailbone, slowly roll up to cat. <sighs> Inhale back to cow. <laughs> exhale, tuck the tailbone, <sighs> roll your way up to cat. Now give me one more. Inhale to cow, collapsing between the shoulder blades. Deep belly breath, letting your belly hang. Vision's up. Exhale. Roll up to cat, really push through the floor, feel your shoulders round up top. We're gonna to take a moment here to stretch out our wrists too. So go ahead and relax back into a regular neutral tabletop position. Rotate your, your hands so that your fingers are pointing outwards and this time inwardly rotate your forearms so that your elbow pits are facing each other. And then just slowly swing from side to side, shifting that weight 
stretching out your forearms, stretching those wrists. I'll show you what it looks like from this angle. You're just going side to side, getting into those wrists. Come back to middle, point those fingers forward. Again, outwardly rotate the forearms so that, your, so that your elbow pits are facing forward and just lean your weight forward so you feel that stretch in your forearms and your wrist. Come back a little bit, inhale, exhale, shift forward again. And just pulse into it a few times. Warm up those wrists, warm up those forearms. And now finally, we're gonna rotate our fingers backwards so that they face our body. Elbow pits are facing forward, and we're just going to lean back, stretch out those forearms. I like to pulse into them a little bit, nice and gentle. We're just getting started. We're warming up. All right, now come back to neutral tabletop. Fingers are facing forward, wrists are under elbows, elbows are under shoulders. Outwardly rotating our forearms again, so our elbow pits are facing forward. In the back with your feet, I want you to tuck your toes and just lift your knees up off the ground and push your hips back and up in a downward facing dog position. From here, alternate pressing your heels to the floor, stretching out your calves. And we're gonna go into a little bit of a pigeon stretch. So inhale your right leg up. With your exhale, I want you to shift your weight forward, bring your knee to your wrist, and then kick the foot up to the opposite hand. Settle your weight backwards. Push into that hip. If you can, if you have the mobility, come down to your forearms. I want you to be trying to keep your hips square with your shoulders. So you're pulling your right hip back, pulling your left hip forward. I'm just gonna hold this for a few breaths. Give me one more inhale. And if you're on your forearms, go ahead and come back up to your palms. Tuck your back toe, step back into plank again. Push back to downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up this time. We're gonna do the other side. So with your exhale, you're gonna shift your weight forward. Bring the knee down to the wrist. Kick the foot up to the other hand. Settle back into pigeon on this side. So again, we're trying to keep our hips square with our shoulders. So this time you're gonna pull your right hip forward and push your left hip back. We'll just take a few breaths here. One more deep breath. And if you're, if you're on your forearms, go ahead and come up to your hands. Step back into plank again, and again, push back into downward facing dog. Again, we're taking this opportunity to stretch out our calves. Alternate pressing your heels to the floor. Feel those calves stretch out. And now we're gonna go into a modified triangle pose. So again, we're gonna start by inhaling our right leg up. With our exhale, we're gonna shift our weight forward and you're gonna plant your right foot on the outside of your right hand. From here, pivot that back leg, inhale your left arm up, and if you can, straighten out that front leg. You should immediately feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Just hold this stretch. If you can, if you have the mobility, take that left arm and wrap it around your waist and grab your inner right thigh. This is a half bind and use that leverage to pull your left shoulder back to get a stretch in the front of your left shoulder. If your range of mobility doesn't let you keep your hand on the floor, your hand can be on your, on your shin, it can be on your knee, whatever is comfortable for you, whatever is in your practice. So we're just gonna hold this for a few more breaths. One more deep inhale into that left rib cage. If you did the half bind, go ahead and release it. And with your exhale, bend into that front knee, put that left hand back on the ground, straighten out that back foot, step back into plank, and again, push back to downward facing dog. Try to get those hips even higher, loosen that lower back, pedal out those calves. Now the left side, inhale that left leg up. With your exhale, shift your weight forward, plant that foot outside your left hand. This time we're gonna pivot our back, our right foot, inhale our right arm up, and then straighten out the left leg. 
Again, if you've got the mobility, you can wrap that right arm around your waist, grab your, the crease of your inner, of your left hip or inner left thigh, and use that leverage to pull your right shoulder back, stretch out the front of that right shoulder. Again, if your range of motion doesn't let you put your hand on the floor, maybe you're on your shin, maybe you're on your knee, wherever you're at. Just gonna hold this for a few breaths. Take one more deep breath. Try to target that breath into your right rib cage. If you're in a bind, release it. Exhale, pivot that back foot straight. Put your right hand on the ground. Step back into plank. One more time, push back into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, you also want to think about pulling your shoulder blades away from your spine. And now we're going to stretch out our legs a little bit. Again, we're going to start by inhaling our right leg up. With the exhale, shift your weight forward and bring your foot in between your hands. From here, you plant your foot, drop your back knee, shift your weight backwards, pull your right toes towards your face, and just hinge over your front leg. Try to keep a flat back. Feel that stretch in your calves, feel in your hamstrings. And we're gonna hold this static stretch for just a few breaths. Take one more deep breath. And with your exhale, shift your weight forward, plant your hands uh, framing your right foot again. This time with your right hand, reach back, grab your left foot, shift your weight forward and pull that foot up towards your butt. You should feel a stretch in your left quad. We're just gonna hold this stretch for a few breaths. Gently release that back foot, plant your right hand back on the ground, step back with your right foot back into plank, push back into down dog again, pull those shoulder blades away from your spine, release that lower back, get your hips high in the air, pedal out those calves, and inhale your left leg up, we'll hit the other side. With the exhale, you shift your weight forward, plant your foot in between your hands, drop the back knee, and again, shift your weight backwards, Straighten out that front leg, pull the toes towards your face, and hinge over that leg with a flat back. This time feeling that stretch traveling up your left leg, starting at uh, the top of the calf, and then feeling it in your left hamstring. Just a few breaths on this side. That's rabbit. Rabbit's doing down dog pretty much all day. Take one more breath here. And with your exhale, shift your weight forward. Bring your hands forward. Reach back. This time with your left hand, grab your right foot and pull your right foot up towards your butt. Shifting your weight forward, feeling that stretch in your right quad. We're here for just a few more breaths. One more breath and with your exhale go ahead and release that back foot frame your front foot with your hands again step back into plank and slowly just lower all the way to the ground now we've done a couple planks now um, as we're transitioning between stretches but now we're gonna fire up our core and really just hold the plank for the to start off our workout so to start a plank I want you to start on your chest fully laying down on the ground your hand should be right underneath your shoulders. Feet are outstretched long. Tuck your toes so your toes are on the ground. Now the first thing I want you to do is pretend there's like a little thumbtack underneath your belly. So you're going to suck in your belly a little bit, pulling your navel in towards your spine as if you don't want the thumbtack to hit your belly. That should engage your core. You want to keep it engaged like that. Elbows should be pointing backwards. Neck should be long, head, head pulled out of your shoulders. We're gonna take a deep breath. 
And with our exhale, I want you to push straight up into a plank. Essentially, you just did a push up. This is the top of a plank. I want you to push your heels to the back of the room, feeling your calves tighten. I want you to make sure your wrists and elbows and shoulders are all stacked. I want you to be pushing through the floor so your shoulders are rounded, kind of like when we were doing the cat position. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Focus the pressure between your thumbs and forefingers. Your tailbone should remain tucked, meaning your pelvis is shifting forward. You're still pulling your navel in towards your spine like you don't want the thumbtack to hit your belly. Your core is engaged, you're stacking your abs on top of each other, and as you tuck your tailbone, you're squeezing your abs together. Imagine you have the six pack and you're trying to squeeze them together into one giant ab muscle. So just hold this here. You should feel your core start to heat up. <clears throat> We're gonna be here for another three, two, one. Now I want you to reach forward about a foot with each hand. We're gonna hold this extended plank. Keep your tailbone tucked, keep those abs engaged. This is a little bit harder. Just for another three, two, one, now I want you to outwardly rotate your forearms again so your elbow pits are facing forward and then just lower down to the ground into an elbow plank. <sighs> Same thing with an up as the upright plank, we're pushing our heels to the back of the room. This time our elbows are directly underneath our shoulders. Our head's pulled out of our shoulders so our neck is long, tailbone's tucked, core is engaged. Just another three, two, one, and here's the hardest one. We're gonna be doing an extended elbow plank. I want you to take your feet and move each of them back about a foot. So now you're in the extended elbow plank. This one's immediately harder. Just try to hold it for another three, two, one, and go ahead and drop your knees to the ground. Right now you should feel your belly, your core all heated up, ready to do some work. So let's do some work. Here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a cardio core set, which means it's gonna be high intensity interval training. We're gonna be working out um, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So that means we're gonna be moving for 45 seconds, and then we're gonna take a break for 15 seconds. There are eight rounds, eight different exercises. We're gonna do it twice, so this is gonna be a 16 minute set. We're gonna alternate. We're gonna go between core moves and cardio moves. Um, I'll talk you through them. But first, grab a drink of water because we're gonna go straight through this 16 minute set. I left my water over here, give me a second. So again, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Get ready. Uh, this is not that intense. It's a beginner set, but depending where you're at, just take breaks where you need to. Remember to hydrate. And we're gonna start off with popovers. Popovers, you're on your back, only your lower back's touching the ground. You can use your hands as tripods. Your feet are long and you're going over and back. Just imagine a really small ball. You're going over and back over the ball. 45 seconds. Halfway through, we'll, we'll switch the bicycles and go. So the important part here is not the speed. It's just making sure that the only part of your back that's touching the ground is the lower back. Your shoulders and chest are high up off the ground. Legs long, squeezed together, just over and back over this really small imaginary beach ball. And now we're going to transition to bicycles. Same thing with the shoulders. Keep your shoulders off the ground and we're twisting from the hips. We're not just swinging our elbows, we're actually twisting from the hips, getting into our torsos. It's not a race, just keep your shoulders up, keep that core engaged, and we're here for another five, four, three, two, and one. 15 second break. Next round is just good old fashioned jumping jacks, except with these jumping jacks, I want you to keep your arms outstretched with a slight bend of the elbows, engage the biceps, and as we do jumping jacks, keep those arms engaged, biceps flex. Ready, here we go. 45 seconds of jumping jacks. Nice and easy, just warming up, getting the heart rate up. Again, consciously think about keeping those biceps engaged so your arms aren't just flopping around. Good 
We got about another 20 seconds here. And another 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Back to core. We're gonna sit on the ground, our feet are flat, knees up, back on the ground. Imagine a rope is hanging from the ceiling. You're gonna reach up, grab the rope, pull yourself up, pull the rope behind you, your hands behind your ear, left elbow to right knee, and back down. Go. We're gonna switch halfway. Just keep pulling on that imaginary rope. Pull all the way behind you and bring that left elbow to your right knee. And we're gonna switch sides in three, Two, give me one more rope pull on this side. And now reach up to the left, right hand behind the right ear, hit the other side. Really pull that rope behind you, making you twist your torso to look back at that rope. Three, two, and one. Flip over, we're gonna do some cardio. These are gonna be regular mountain climbers. You're gonna start in a plank. Now I want you to shift your weight forward a little bit so you feel a stretch in your wrists. That'll put more weight in your torso. Take the weight out of your legs so that you can mountain climb fast. Go. 45 seconds of mountain climbers. So here's the trick. Even though we're moving fast, it is cardio, but it's also a lot of core because you're essentially in a moving plank. Just drive those knees into your chest. Keep your weight forward. We're here for another 20 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Next core round is alternating V-ups. We're gonna start on our backs again. Left arm's gonna be our tripod. Right arm's gonna come up to both feet, back down, and then the other side. Ready? 45 seconds, go. Twenty more seconds. And five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Next round of cardio, jumping lunges. You're gonna be in this lunge, and you're just gonna switch feet to that lunge. Back and forth, 45 seconds, go. Now I really want you guys to concentrate on having both feet leave the ground at the same time and land at the same time. So you should be catching air. You're not taking steps. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Whew. Shake it out and back to an elbow plank. These are three sixty degree obliques. You're gonna come onto the right side. Lift the leg and arm, back to middle, rotate to the other side, lift the leg and arm. 45 seconds, go. Keep that hip up off the ground. Let me scoot back so you can see me.
20 more seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. Break. And the last round before we go back and do it all over again is burpees. Burpees are you come down to a plank, push up, full body touch to the ground, jump up, give me a three to five inch jump. Go. If you don't got push ups, you can modify by putting your hands on the ground, jumping to a plank, back up, and then jumping. But if you got push ups, go all the way into the ground, pop up, and give me a three to five inch vertical jump. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. That's one round, back to the beginning. So we're going back to popovers. On your back. Whew. Remember, lower body, lower back on the ground, chest and shoulders up, hands on tripods, go. Just keep those legs nice and straight, squeeze them together. Little rainbows over a small imaginary ball. And we're gonna switch the bicycles now. Just another five, four, three, two, whew. Take a break. Uh, back to the jumping jack round. Whew. Remember, arms stay engaged, up and down, not flopping. Here we go, go. Squeeze those biceps as you do these jumping jacks. And chest is switching up. We're gonna start doing shuffle jacks. So arms do the same thing, but feet go forward and back now. are up. We're going to start with our right hand, left hand behind the ear, and go. Pull that rope all the way behind you. Look at it. Back down. Pull the rope, elbow to knee, back down. And switch sides. Left arm up, grab that rope, right hand behind the ear, Pull yourself up. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Flip on back over to that plank. We've got mountain climbers coming up. Remember, it's a plank. Abs are engaged, tailbone's tucked, glutes engaged, chest forward, go. Remember, the chest is coming forward past the hands so that our lower body is nice and light. Just keep driving those knees.
20 seconds left. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Five, three, two, and one. Oh. Remember what comes next? Alternating V-ups. On your backs. Whew. We're close. We're almost there, guys. We got this. Ready? And go. seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, 15 second break. Next round, jumping lunges. These are personally my least favorite, but they work. And it's only 45 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Whew. Just two rounds left. Get ready for the 360 degree obliques. Got forearms down, step back to the plank, and go. Alternate to one side, arm and leg up. Shift, rotate to the other side. Arm and leg up. Keep your abs engaged. Keep your hips off the ground. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, and one. And the very last round. Burpees. These are the hardest, but this is it. Give me 45 seconds of burpees and we're done. Ready? Give it to me. Again, if you don't have push-ups, just put your hands down, plank out, jump back up, and jump. So that's it. Whew. Hopefully you guys had fun getting in some movement with me. Movement is freedom. There will come a day that you can't do this. Today is not that day. Whew. Thanks for having me guys. Thanks for joining.